My name is Vedran Lešić. I'm a member of Center for Decision Research and I have recently completed my uh, PhD project uh, on topic of understanding and informing consumers uh, about uh, their electricity use. So the topic of uh, energy use uh, and climate change has been really popular and really important uh, in the last couple of years, but also throughout the, the decade. And uh, a lot of governments uh, and a lot of um, different climate change organizations are putting a lot of effort to um, go, uh, make a statement that uh, in order to curb the risk of climate change, we would need to uh, change the way how we uh, uh, use our electricity and change the way how we use um, kind of uh, how we purchase appliances that we're using, how we are um, living on everyday lives. One of the reasons why I decided to kind of investigate this topic even further was to focus on that part of if consumers are aware of how much electricity are they using, they'll be in a much better position and they'll have opportunity to make more informed and better decisions about their electricity use and therefore have consequences on many different environmental and health decisions later on uh, in life and also for the environment and society that they live in. So some participants were in condition when they had only light bulb uh, provided and said that light bulb consumes 100 watt over the course of an hour. What do you think about your refrigerator? What do you think about your um, electric dryer or other, uh, other appliances? In other conditions, with the multiple reference points particularly, we had light bulb and a washing machine, for example, as a, as a provider of two reference points. And then we asked participants about their consumption of uh, air conditioner or TV or some other appliances and what we wanted to see if providing more information in this case multiple reference points as a light bulb and a washing machine will help to have sort of an idea when people think about later on about the rest of the appliances and it will that kind of significantly increase the accuracy of their perceptions. The main results uh, of, uh, of my study were that actually reference points do indeed help people to have more accurate perceptions about their electricity use. And in this case, that uh, multiple reference points, single or low, or different combinations of multiple reference points do have a difference. And also that uh, providing uh, a multiple reference point in a way also provide more confidence in the judgment when people are thinking about their electricity use, they perceive the task less difficult and also the, the information or the instructions to think about it, they, they find it much more easier when they have multiple reference points provided. One of the main practical implications of the research is definitely to uh, kind of help uh, uh, inform the designers who are working on different uh, energy informations and communication strategies for consumers uh, to how to design a better and more informative feedback. So imagine that you are looking at your uh, in-home display and you're looking at the information about how much each appliance use. It might help you more to focus and provide just a, like a low end and a high end appliance that will provide you kind of a range, distributional range of, uh, of uh, information about how much each of those appliances consume, then you'll have a kind of a greater picture of what is, a big, uh, what is a small consuming appliance, what is a bigger consuming appliance. If you want to make a certain investment, then you will know in kind of where to look and kind of recognize which appliance maybe is the driver of your energy consumption in your home and contributes to your electricity bill. So it definitely have this practical implications of when um, into designing and redesigning income displays as they will be um, as uh, as they will come uh, where when the transition with smart meters happen and transitions with uh, kind of a future energy systems happen in the households.